Thanks for watching. This is the VSI startup video designed to show you how to get your new vehicle standard interface up and running in a quick and painless manner. The VSI is used for both ECU reprogramming and vehicle diagnostics across all makes and all models of vehicles within the automotive industry. It is a powerful tool when combined with OEM software. This video will demonstrate how to install the VSI 2534 drivers, software, and utilities, as well as provide a tutorial on how to use the VSI validation tool. By the end of this video, you will be able to verify that the VSI is performing properly and is set up for ECU reprogramming or vehicle diagnostic sessions. Let's get started. When you receive your new VSI, open the box. The first item you will see is a quick start guide. Take a minute to read this guide. There are steps that need to be followed or your VSI will not function properly, resulting in a frustrating startup process. The first step in the installation process will be to install the VSI drivers, software, and utilities from the CD provided with the kit. Locate the driver's CD and place it in the PC. The installation will start automatically. Then, simply follow the on-screen instructions. When you are finished, you will be prompted to reboot your computer. While your computer is installing the software, connect the vehicle and USB cables to the VSI. Be sure to tighten the thumb screws, as this will help prevent damage to the unit from accidental drops or cable pulls while communicating with the vehicle. The aluminum housing and the patented thumb screws on the USB connector provide rugged reliability and differentiate the VSI from other competitive product designs. Now that the cables are connected to the VSI, you can safely connect to a vehicle. The automotive industry uses a J1962 connector, more commonly known as an OBD2 connector, for accessing the vehicle network. Now that the cable is connected to the vehicle, be sure to turn the ignition switch to the run or key on position. Look at the VSI and ensure that the power LED is illuminated. Note, if the key is not in the run position, the data bus will not be active. Your PC will be able to see the VSI, but the VSI will not be able to see any messages from the vehicle network. Plug the USB cable into your PC. Listen carefully for the familiar Windows chime when plugging into a USB port. Validating that your interface is installed and working properly is a simple, straightforward process. The VSI validation utility included on the software CD is a simple way to ensure that the VSI is working properly. Go to the Start menu on your desktop, click on Programs, locate the VSI 2534 folder, and open it. Here you will find useful tools and documentation that support reprogramming and diagnostic activities using the VSI. Click on the VSI 2534 Validation Utility. This application will test the connection between the PC and the vehicle using the VSI while providing a visual of the connection. Ensure you are properly connected to the PC and the vehicle with the ignition switch in the key on position. Click the test button to test your adapter. If solid green lines appear during the test, congratulations, you have successfully connected to the vehicle network. In the event that you receive red dash lines on either side of the VSI, check all the connection points and be sure the thumb screws on the USB connector are tight. Also, verify that the ignition switch is in the key on position. DG Technologies was the first VSI vendor in the industry to provide this type of functionality. DG Technologies provides user guides designed to walk you through ECU reprogramming using the technical information system offered through the OEM website. Each user guide is OEM specific and provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the VSI with the OEM technical information system. To access the OEM user guides, go to Start, All Programs, and open the VSI 2534 folder. Next, open the Documentation folder. Here you will find a list of OEM user guides that will provide detailed instructions on how to reprogram ECUs for each manufacturer. To recap, this video demonstration provided instructions on how to use the VSI to successfully connect to a vehicle network within the automotive industry. 
Other videos offered by DG Technologies provide specific demonstrations on how to use the VSI for vehicle diagnostics and ECU reprogramming. Demonstrations include tutorials on vehicle diagnostics using Palmer ScanXL software and ECU reprogramming using the General Motors tis 2 web system. As a side note, Palmer ScanXL diagnostic software is included with the VSI 2534 kit made available online at dgtech.com. The VSI 2534 is an industry standard pass-through device used by OEMs globally with the power and capability to handle both diagnostics and ECU reprogramming, we are confident the VSI will meet or exceed your expectations. This concludes the VSI 2534 video tutorial. We hope it helped. Remember, our ability to get you up and running in a quick and painless manner is our top priority. Feel free to send us any questions or comments you may have. We look forward to supporting your needs and hope to serve you again in the very near future.